Hello YouTube and it is our six monkey here. I am currently in the shed with the bike. You will see her there in all her glory. And you will see obviously some bits missing. Now not the ideal situation I wanted to be in. We're currently on Friday and I am supposed to be heading to Hesham for the ferry Monday night. So what should have been a normal a uh, disc and pad change turned out to be an absolute nightmare. I will show you this here. So first off, the caliper slide bolts, the Allen key fitting, just rounded, they were seized in there. So eventually managed to get them out and then got the caliper off and the pistons were seized. So I thought, great, as you can see the inside seals weren't too bad, but the dust seals have just totally lost their shape and everything else. I noticed that the smaller piston, don't know if you'll see that there, has some wee nicks on it, so that wasn't the greatest. So managed to get on to eBay. Sorsafil replacement caliper. I have been advised that the, uh, the pistons, the bolts are all free moving, the uh, lead nipples free moving. So we're going to get that back on, get it filled up with brake fluid, get it bled up, get the new pads on, get the disc on the wheel get the exhaust back on it wheel back on and we should be good to go so as I say I'll just grab a I'll take these over here then out just grab a you need to excuse the state of my tool drawer needs a good clean out there we go six mile allen key hopefully these should have no ah there we go now that's the way my first one should have been so let's put this on here Until my retaining that. You'll see what we're doing here, maybe. If I get my big blue hand out of the way. Would have been easier if I'd, you know, got my head strapped or something, set up my GoPro, but I just decided to use my phone. So we clean up, but at least I'm damn sight better condition than the ones that were in it. As you can see, the pistons look a lot better. The pad slides are good, so fingers crossed we get this sorted. I'll, uh, I'll crack on with this and I'll jump back in a wee bit later and let you know how I'm getting on season a bit. So a wee update on where we are just now. I've got everything hooked up. Uh, got the banjo bolt on with the brake fluid caliper. Got the reservoir topped up. I have uh, started bleeding it through to the point where it was coming out. Uh, I was able to thing it out the nipple. So I'm going to get the calipers on. I had to, I gave everyone a clean with brake cleaner. So I'm going to get these pads fitted. I went with EBC double H centered 
brake pads. Uh, you'll notice I've also opted for a different colour of gloves because I swapped out the blue ones. So we'll get these uh, pads fitted in, get the caliper fitted back on, get the disc on the wheel and then uh, get everything bled up to standard and I'll let you know how things go on for there. Right, catch you in the back. Okay guys, we have made progress. So, new caliper is on, new disc is on. I did get a wee clean with my brake cleaner for putting it on, but obviously, my copper slipping a lot in my hands when putting it on, I'll give it another clean. Uh, bled up, just need everything adjusted, uh, torqued up, exhaust back on. Great wee tool for bleeding up on your own. Uh, stops it drawing foot any air back through the system. Uh, so no, that is as done. Uh, well, almost. Just as I say, is get everything aligned back up with the chain and that. Uh, top up the reservoir again. Get it bolted back up. Get the exhaust on. Might actually take the baffle like that before going away. And then we are good to go. So if I had a better setup, I'd have probably done like a wee step-by-step -step how to as I was doing it, but I just sat done it all with my phone. Uh, but there we are. Job done and dusted. We are pretty much ready for the man. Just in case you're putting luggage on. There we go, we'll pan out a wee bit. Yeah, just in case you're putting luggage on. Yes, I do still use old Haynes manual. Comes in handy for time to time. For talk settings and stuff. But no. That is us guys. Hopefully next time I see you. I will either be heading to the ferry or from the ferry uh, for the other man for the TT. So remember guys, ride safe, keep a shiny side up. Till next time, bye.